Okay, the Ports Regulator is set up under Section 29 of the National Ports Act. Um, it is set up as an economic regulator that uh, tries to ensure fairness in pricing, equity of access um, in the port system uh, amongst a number of different functions. So it is the regulator um, essentially regulating the pricing of the National Ports Authority for port facilities and services in the port system of South Africa. Um, annually it has um, a price determination uh, process um, and on the 1st of August of each year the National Ports Authority submits its tariff application to the ports regulator. We use both our methodology and our tariff strategy in assessing uh, pricing going forward into the following three years. Uh, the first year is the actual price and two years indicative pricing. Um, within that we analyze the costs um, of the um, authority, the volumes coming in, the capex requirement, um, and a number of uh, um, items within the methodology. The PCC has come into the picture in terms of looking at the projects and the capex uh, infrastructure that the Port Authority is going to uh, um, propose for the following year and beyond. And they then interrogate the, um, um, the projects that are proposed and make recommendations to the Port Regulator, which is an independent regulator. The regulator itself also sits um, on the PCCs as an observer. The reason why they are an observer is that you don't want an independent regulator to be instructed by um, an organization like the PCC um, in its resolutions um, to be told what the prices should be. And therefore, the um, a regulator takes an observer status within the PCC rather than as a member um, that can be instructed. Therefore it is an uh, independent regulator and, um, and the PCCs of course have their own role to play within the system. But uh, they have a symbiotic relationship in terms of um, the PCCs that represent different interests within each port, the national PCC. NPCC then of course uh, elevates these issues to um, the Department of Transport and the Minister of Transport.